Good evening, we are on Monday the 1st of August 2022. The time is now 7.34pm. I'm going to be sharing with you daily meditations with the Holy Spirit and uh, asking you to pray for the Church and the Pope and the Cardinals that were with him in Canada and for God to take control of all of them. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, my God, I am sorry for all my sins, because they offend you who are so good, and with your help I will not sin again. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day, night be at my side to light and guard to rule and guide amen the jesus prayer the prayer of the heart lord jesus christ son of god have mercy on me a sinner come holy spirit fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. Amen. The reading for today, the 1st of August, I'll actually pray the prayer at the front. Come, Holy Ghost, Creator blessed, and in our hearts take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which thou hast made to fill the hearts which thou hast made. Amen. The reading is taken from 1 Corinthians 3, verse 16. Do you not realize that you are God's temple and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? Reflection. In the Old Testament, the Jewish people had a temple in Jerusalem which was considered to be the dwelling place of God upon the earth. In the New Testament, our bodies are that temple, for the Spirit of God dwells in our hearts. As the Eucharist is bread that the Spirit makes into the body of Christ, so our bodies are spirit-filled flesh, which forms part of the mystical body of Christ. The prayer, dwell in my heart, O Spirit of God, and consecrate me in your grace. Amen. The prayer for Mondays. In thy name, Lord Jesus Christ, we pray that thou cover us, our families and all our possessions, with thy love and thy most precious blood, and surround us with thy heavenly angels, blood, and surround us with thy heavenly angels, saints, and the mantle of our blessed mother. Amen. The prayers to the Holy Spirit, if any creator. Come, Holy Spirit, creator, come. From thy bright heavenly throne, come take possession of our souls and make them all thy own. Thou who art called the paraclete, best gift of God above, the living spring, the living fire, sweet unction and true love. Thou who art sevenfold in thy grace, finger of God's right hand, his promise teaching little ones to speak and understand. O guide our minds with thy blessed light, with love our hearts in flame, and with thy strength which never decays, confirm our mortal frame. Far from us drive our deadly foe, 
true peace unto us bring, and through all perils lead us safe beneath thy sacred wing. Through thee may we the Father know, through thee the Eternal Son, and thee the Spirit of them both, thrice blessed three in one. All glory to the Father be, with his co-equal Son, the same to thee, great Paraclete, while endless ages run. The Press Veni Sancti Spiritus, come, O Creator, Spirit blessed, and in our souls take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which thou hast made. Great Paraclete, to thee we cry, O highest gift of God most high, O fount of life, O fire of love, and sweet anointing from above. Thou in thy sevenfold gifts art known, the finger of God's hand we own. The promise of the Father thou, who dost the tongue with power endow. Our senses kindle from above, and make our hearts overflow with love. With patience firm and virtue high, the weakness of our flesh supply. Drive far from us the foe we dread, and grant us thy true peace instead. So shall we not with thee for guide turn from the path of life aside. O oh, may thy grace on us bestow the Father and the Son to know, and thee through endless times confessed of both the eternal Spirit blessed. All glory while the ages run be to the Father and the Son, who rose from death, the same to thee, O Holy Ghost, eternally. Amen. Prayer to the Holy Spirit. Come, O Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enable and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God who taught the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant that by the gift of the same Spirit we may be always truly wise and ever rejoice in his consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. For perseverance, Jesus, I'm going away for a time, but I trust not without you. You are with me by your grace. I resolve never to leave you by mortal sin. Although I'm so weak, I have such hope. Give me grace to persevere. Amen. And for yourself, O oh Jesus, wash away my sins with your precious blood. O oh Jesus, the struggle against temptation is not yet finished. My Jesus, when temptation comes near me, make me strong against it. In the moment of temptation, may I always say, My Jesus, mercy, Mary, help. O oh Jesus, may I lead a good life, may I die a happy death. May I receive you before I die, may I say when I'm dying, Jesus, Mary and Joseph, I give you my heart and my soul. Listen now for a moment to Jesus Christ. Perhaps he has something to say to you. Answer Jesus in your heart and tell him all your troubles. O oh Jesus, my God, my Creator, I adore you, because from your hands I came, and with you I am happy to be. I am to be happy forever. An act of humility. O oh Jesus, I am not worthy to receive you, and yet you have come to me, that my poor heart may learn of you to be meek and humble. An act of love. Jesus, I love you, I love you with all my heart. You know that I love you and wish to love you daily more and more. 
an act of thanksgiving. My good Jesus, I thank you with all my heart, how good, how kind you are to me. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar, an act of offering. O oh Jesus, receive my poor offering. Jesus, you have given yourself to me. And now let me give myself to you. I give you my body, that I may be chaste and pure. I give you my soul, that I may be free from sin. I give you my heart, that I may always love you. I give you my every breath that I shall breathe, and especially my last. I give you myself in life and in death, that I may be yours for ever and ever. Amen. Pater Noster Chies in Caeli Sanctificatur, Nomen Tuum Adveniet, Regnum Tuum Fiat Voluntus, Tua Sicut in Caelo et in Terra Panem Nostrum, Coditanum da nobis hodi et dimite nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimitumus, deminitoribus nostris et ne nos inducus, in tentationem sed libera nos amalo. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Agnes Dei qui tolis peccato mundi misere nobis Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us. The angel of the Lord declared to Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to your word. And the word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us. I would continue, but I have something I have to do right now. God bless you all. Thank you for listening. I'm sending you the peace of Christ. May you always be happy and joyful in the Lord. And please pray for our priests, particularly those who uphold all that was taught by the apostles and are traditional as they would be called, but they are holding us together. I'd ask you to raise them all in prayer and all the priests who still do and agree to do the Latin Mass. Please pray for them. Thank you and God bless.